Okay, that's out of the way. And now, oh look, it actually spun out. That looks like we're gonna be part three on this one. <laughs> billion okay I'm just kind of this was it was getting kind of nasty at the end of the thread here so I'm going to back it back down and give it a little wire brush action Okay, we wear brush that. Made it a little more happier. Maybe this will come off. Oh yeah, see a little wire brush action? A little WD or some kind of something with petroleum in it distillates. And these bearings, hmm, the race doesn't look too bad. The bearings are a little rusty. The adjuster is a little rusty. But the bearings aren't too bad. And this cone on here isn't too bad either. Overall, I'd say that these are straight, usable. Pretty straight, pretty usable. But they're incomplete. Something's going on here. And, you know, I don't see a lot of room. I'm really hoping somebody didn't trim these. Cause I don't see a lot of room. Let's see, let's put these back in and take a look. Is that freeze damage? No, it's just a mark. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a lot of room. Okay, so what I'm seeing is the this is an incomplete Springer front end. Or it was just made that way. Chime in, folks. I don't know. I Did Colson have a spread apart fork like that that wasn't a Springer? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. There's not a lot of room here. Uh, there's not a lot of room to put some adapting plate on that would hold the Springer and still have this. This doesn't look like someone hacksawed it, though. Yeah, that, that looks factory. That looks okay. Hmm. Uh, it's hard to say. Was there a thin little plate that held a spring? I doubt it. There's not enough room. That's not... There's not enough threads on there. Maybe. Hmm. Was there something missing? Or was it just a safety spread apart fork? It seems a bit much, though. That seems a bit much to get a front wheel off of a Colson. Uh, hey, chime in, guys. You Colson experts haven't failed me yet. So, okay, well, let's go on to the seat post. Uh, that's going to obviously need more research on the fork. So, we'll quickly take this off again. Let us all free. And yes, Colson also had the notch for the washer. You can see there's a little notch there. I don't think anybody hacksaw this. It looks it looks pretty pretty nice, you know. I don't think that's been hacksawed. Hmm. Could be wrong though. Okay, so we'll set these aside. And we're going to see what kind of seat post goes in here. Because obviously a Schwinn seat post is too small. 
and we'll see if I have one. I have my doubts though. Okay, so a Schwinn seat post. I think a Schwinn seat post is 20 millimeters. Now, let's see what Schwinn is. Huh, that's inches, oops. Okay. Oops, <laughs> sorry folks. Yeah, Schwinn seat post is 20.59 millimeters. Uh, 20.6 millimeters. Okay, so that's Schwinn. And, uh, this one actually fits in a little bit, but it's too loose. And I got this other one from way back in the day. I had a bunch of BMX parts. And it's kind of a lavender BMX seat post. I don't think I'm going to use this one, but it's measuring out at 22.25. It's measuring out at 22.25. What is that? Can you guys see that? Probably not. No one can see that. Well, trust me, it's measuring out at 22.22. Okay, so it's 22 millimeters. And... 22 millimeter seat post does fit. Looks like it will go in with some grease. Uh, maybe a 21 millimeter would be better. Or even a uh, 21.5 maybe. That is going in there though. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So what did we say that was? Twenty-two point four zero. All right, so it looks like, you know, obviously I'm not going to use that seat post. That is just not happening. I mean, I guess I could cut it off and strip all the nasty lavender paint off of it. I think I'll look online and see if there's a twenty-two point twenty-two point four maybe. Huh. Uh, 22.3 okay I'll probably look online and see what I can find okay so mystery solved obviously we're not going to use this one put it back in the plastic bag it was in for nine years alright so uh, yeah if anybody out there knows what's up with this fork you know please tell me are we missing parts are we missing parts to a springer front end did someone trim this with a hacksaw doesn't look like it oh the bike used to be red hmm. okay so yeah are we missing parts all right you internet sleuths uh, you subscribers, you know who you are. Tell me what I'm missing here. Or maybe it's just a safety feature from Coulson. You know, you had to spread the fork like a gorilla to get this off. All right, well, that's about it for today. Uh, stay tuned next time when we use a large uh, zip disc to get this tire off. <laughs> Okay, hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, just keeping you guys up to date about what's going on. Um, yeah, as always, uh, any any information is good. If you guys know something about Colson's, I don't know, which is probably a lot. Uh, just drop me a comment and tell me what parts I'm missing. Okay, have a good day.
and happy cinco de mayo.